How's everybody doing? You guys, we are doing the Shape Up and Slim Down for February challenge, and it is a regular eating day. Keto, ketovore, carnivore, which are you? Come on, you guys, let's get this day started. Hey everyone, how's everybody doing? It is you guys are seeing this on Tuesday. So we are doing a regular day of eating. Use your macros, make protein your priority. Exercise today, take a walk, lift some weights, and move your body. And that's exactly what Harry and I are doing. I have a weight training. Harry's gonna go use the stretching machine. He's gonna do the recumbent bicycle while I lift weights. So we are dressed for success, but it is in the high 40s this morning, yeah. which is very cold for us. Now you guys, we had technical difficulties, two different kinds that kept us from uploading films. Harry was fighting with his computer and with his phone trying to get the stuff we filmed on the phone uploaded. It just was not working. We use a software to do it. He was having all kinds of issues. So what we're going to do is we're going to insert all of those things um, when we get back from uh, exercising and share that with you guys just so you kind of see some stuff of what we ate and stuff over the weekend you guys we are not sports fans we are not sports fan we don't follow sports or anything like that but we really enjoy the Super Bowl game and as always it it's always a fun and exciting game to watch and and yesterday was no exception at least for us we had a great time great food kept it keto great company um, so we're back on track we were on track yesterday but we kind of overdid the salami the cheese you know the good stuff all the good stuff and the keto foods the deviled eggs and all of those things so um, we're back on track today so I also want to share with you guys because Keto Chow has come up with uh, a, not a new product as far as the formulation is concerned, but a new way, a new product in the fact that they have taken the Keto Chow Daily Minerals, the liquids, and now it is in a capsule form. It includes the electrolytes. For those of you, this flavor it's very minerally some people say it's bitter bitter some people say it's chalky it just leaves a tin taste in their mouth so what they decided to do was develop a capsulated form of it and this is dr berry approved this formula he helped uh, design the formulation with them there's a little picture of dr berry right there oh, a little teeny one there he is. And they're going to move it eventually over to the salt tea site where that's going to have their supplements, the minerals, the potassium, the magnesium, these, the electrolytes, and those types of things. You guys can go through our link down in the description below and get 15% off. These are great if you're doing carnivore. 15%? I mean, excuse me, 10% off. I apologize. You get 10% off of Everything on their site except for the club boxes. Yes, dear? You're thinking of the salt. I am. I'm thinking of the salt. Real I'm salt. thinking of electrolytes. Salt, 15 right. Off Redmond's yeah. Real Salt. They, yeah. Theirs is 10%. So, except for the Chow Club boxes, which are already discounted by, by joining their club, the club items. Now, the good news is about this is if you're carnivore, if you're doing BB, B, and E, if you're doing a uh, um, if you're doing an egg fast, if you're doing a um, ground beef fast, if you're doing any of those things, including fasting, you can take a tablet and get your electrolytes and your minerals in the capsulated form, right? Some people don't like the taste of just salt. They don't like the uh, sole water that you make with uh, like a Redmond's Roll Salt or Himalayan salt. They don't like electrolyte mixes. They don't want the flavors or any of that. So this would be the way to go. Now, in the bottle, you get 240 capsules because his uh, suggested use, Dr. Berry's, as in with this, you can take a cap full of this or a big tablespoon um, with this, but the per capsule uh, mineral count is on here. 
so uh, it's up to you how many you take I always just put a little splash in my water and stuff because I can't drink a whole cap at a time because it's very bitter to me um, Harry says it tastes like tin to him so the pills are the way to go as far as if you don't want to take a powder or an elixir or you don't want the flavors this get it done take it and get it out of the way right so I just wanted to share that with everybody so this is really nice I like the salt tea um, I think you Chris and Miriam need to reverse the size of the teas like the, the last tea should be tall, so like yeah, it's a hard tea, pronounced salt tea, but I like the labeling. And I like the information. Uh, each cap has um, all of the minerals that you need, like the iodine, magnesium, zinc, selenium, copper, manganese, chromium, molybdenum, betum, chloride, potassium, and um, boron. And you get 51 um, megs of sodium. Potassium is 90. Magnesium is 42, plus the chloride, zinc, boron, manganese, manganese copper, iodine, selenium, chromium, and molybdenum. Molybdenum. Pardon me. Molybdenum. Do you say aluminum or aluminum? That's the same type of a thing. I don't need to be corrected. It's Wendy speak, and I get it. Uh, anyway, I just wanted to share that with everybody. Just wanted to share that with everybody. I'm excited about that. I'm gonna to continue to splash this until it's gone. I have several bottles of this, so you're gonna see me using the older stuff too. But I think the capsules are really cool. I really do. They're great for somebody who is like exercising or working out or jogging or running or any of those things. Take your water, take a pill, and you're done with it, right? Huh. I just wanted to share that with everybody. And Harry and I need to go to the gym. We're going to insert some lost footage and everything that we have um, just to share with everybody. And then we will come back at the very end and share anything else that we do today. How does that sound? Great. Anyway, you guys, we'll see you after we exercise. Yes, indeed. You guys, we are at Bash's because I am hungry for steak. Today, like I said earlier, is a refill your body day, and Harry and I want steak. So come on, you guys. Bash's is having a sale. Let's see what steaks they have on the shelves. I'm going to make a U-turn. I had to get out of people's way today because they're all over the place. So come on, Harry, let's go to meet. Usually their sales stuff is by two limit. So I'm, I got two to get ready. So I'm going to go to the beef. Let's see what they've got. Over right here? Mm, yeah. $9.49 a pound, $29 for all this filet mignon. I'm, I'm, I'm going for it. Look at this one. Holy moly, those are huge. Let's see these. Wow. Let's see which ones I want. I think I'm going to get these two. Wow. I'm excited. Oh, yeah, if you get, get the bags open. If you get a white and it's damp, then it opens. Oh, you I found think the any moisture, well, no, someone told me any moisture, like if there's any moisture on the meat container, mm -hmm. on the bag. Wow. This is exciting. That's heavy. I'm $29. I'm saving $21.42. That's $50 worth of steak right there. And actually, if you were eating here in a restaurant and asking for filet mignon, it would be $60 or more per oh, plate. Yeah, easy. Easy. Oh, yeah. Easy. No chicken wings. Boneless, skinless chicken thighs. $1.97. So they've got those, which we get when I have. But What else do you want with it, Harry? 
Um, tomorrow's Super Bowl. It's a 20 hour fast. What do you want to break your fast with? Harry. Charcuterie. Oh, I know. We've been invited to that Super Bowl party. I know. And I need to bring something. How about if I make uh, enchiladas? Okay. But make them keto. Okay, yeah. Okay. Of course. Let's get some cheese. I like, let's get some Mexican cheese. Mexican cheddar and jack. Mexican four cheese. Tillamook Mexican four cheese. I like this. Should I get thin or thick? Yeah, me too. Really? Yeah, get, get that. Okay. It's a mixture. Mexican blend, four shreds. Let's get these. Right here. Looks like I'm getting got my cauliflower for my mashed potato. Yeah. Have pork rinds for tomorrow. Do we need some garden vegetable dip for the pork rinds? Or should I make some homemade dip? We had to take it with us though. I know. Okay. Let's so you have see. to make a lot. I know. Come on. I like Philadelphia ones because they don't put a lot of extra stuff in there, you know? Let me read this. It's got stuff that are going to kill my hands. Garlic, bell peppers, so they don't. cucumbers, so I can't. I gotta think about that. So let's go down here. We're gonna have to go to Sprouts because they have a better choice of Walden's Farms mm -hmm. plus they have my egg life wraps. Okay, we'll right, run so over there after here. Yeah. What a, oh, bacon. Let's go get bacon. I hope they have thick bacon. My thick cut. Now I like right free. I like apple with smoked. Yeah. Should we get one of each? Yeah. I want to get some of the all natural preservative free. This is the one that does not have MSG in it. It does have sugar as the last ingredient, but the other swaggers have MSG. Modium sodium glutamate. I can't have that. So I'm going to get this. This is Bob Evans. What does Bob Evans have in it? Monosodium glutamate. See, I can't have that. All natural. Okay, this one is Swaggert's. Gluten free with no MSG added. This one's sage. Gluten free. This one doesn't say it's gluten free. Gluten free, no MSG. Let's get mild and the other. I want this in my freezer because then I, now I can make sausage gravy. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You can. Yep, I can. Okay, I'm coming this way, Harry. Watch out, there's people behind me here. Organic. Let's get some organic eggs. We have eggs, right? Still? From Costco? Yeah. Look, they're probably... Shelves are going naked again. They don't have any egg whites that I use. I'm going to get one of these. Everything's in the back. Everything I want's on the bottom shelf and in the back. But I gotta hold this a minute on my hand because I pinched it when I did the um, canned sparkling water. I pinched right. it just perfect. Oh my gosh! Oh, time out. Hey, 
I got you. No way. No way. $8.99. We're oh getting them all. And we got here before the other person that buys them out. It's like a pinch, you know? Mm hmm Look at it. It's gonna be a big bruise. Yep, it is too. Okay, Harry, let's go check out. I'm gonna have you push the cart so I can apply cold to my hand. Hey everybody, I just got done at the hairdresser. Yes, I we did. We can tell. <laughs> you can tell because it looks good. Yeah. Yes, indeed. We are at Finney's, which is a oh, cute was little steakhouse that we've never been to before. Got, uh, they have a little salad bar, so you get salad bar. That's my salad. And I have a prime rib, 16 ounce prime rib coming. And Harry has a New York steak, strip steak coming. So, 10, 10 ounce, because that's the biggest they had for him. Anyway, you guys will share, because this is a brand new place, and they have, I Googled well, brand it. new to us. Brand new to us, older. But um, they have nine different steak dishes here. So that's super exciting, including a lobster and steak. So, guys, I'll share. And, and, and yeah. they got snails. Oh, yeah, and they have a scargo, which I love, and I forgot to order. You can order some. I am. Just order. I'm going to. Yeah, you order. Right. Anyway, you guys, we'll see you in the next segment. But I'm going to take a little bit of my salad now. Yes, indeed. I just found out they have escargot, yes I'm saying snails, in butter garlic sauce. I am so excited. I know you guys are freaking out right now, but snails are delicious. Yes, they are. And I just put my order in for that to go along with the ribeyes. So you guys, I'll share when I get them. Oh yeah. <laughs> I win. Look at my ribeye. Oh my gosh. And look at your New York. But I like I like my ribeye better. And we've got a side of creamed horseradish and regular horseradish. Harry's New York. Regular horseradish, cream horseradish, and my escargot. It's coming, but you guys, I'm so excited. Look, 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 look. <sighs> look at there. Yes, indeed. We found a new place to come and eat, and it's very close to our home. It looks like nothing outside. Harry almost didn't want to come in here, but they had fabulous reviews. Fabulous. So, you guys, gotta eat now. I have escargot. Ignore the bread. The bread is not the part. It's this, it's these deliciousness sitting in the garlic laden parsley butter deliciousness. Yes, I'm gonna try this right now. I smell garlic, I smell butter. Mm. Is it is it taste okay? It's so good. Mm. Wow. I get some. This is what my dessert is, you guys. Escargot. I'm telling you. If you've never had little snails, you need to try some because they are nutty, very beefy. It's like, I know this sounds weird. It's like filet mignon, super tender with garlic infused butter. And I put salt on this with a little bit of parsley on top. That is good escargot. Anyway, you guys, gotta eat now. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Hey everybody, Harry shredded me some cheese. I've got plenty of cheese. We are making beef enchiladas. It's really bison. Yes, it is. We're making it for the party the today. Game. We're taking it for the game. So I've got a pound of my bison in here. It's the 90-10 and I'm just getting it um, browned. I'm going to turn that down. Now, you use, I, 
this is super simple, super easy. It's basically five ingredients. It's egg life wraps for my tortillas. It's ground beef, bison, whatever, pork, ground pork, chicken, whatever you like, meat-wise, about a pound, some cheese, and then I've got uh, two of the uh, organic red hatch enchilada sauce, the medium strength, because a lot of people don't like hot. We do, but we may not be the only people. Now, use the taco seasoning of your choice. I'm using keto chow. Taco base, I love this stuff. But Redmond has taco seasoning. If you didn't know, you can get a 15% discount on this from the Redmond Real Salt site down in the description below. And then I've got my taco seasoning. I don't know if they're out or not on the site, but it's super simple, super easy. Some people, some of you make your own um, homemade spices and that's wonderful if you use it a lot and you would use it up fast within several months after you make it. But I never know what I'm gonna do. So I like having the simpleness of when I was on the sad diet, I just had a lot of the McCormick, you know, gravy mixes and sauce mixes and my favorite El Paso and whatever in my pantry, right? So that I would have something available when I got home from work that I could feed my family. I'm gonna put just a little bit of water in this, just a splash. Ooh. That's a splash. That was a splash, all right. What you doing, Sal? Look at my cheese. Look at the cheese, it's over here. I know I can tell there's cheese over here somewhere. Yeah, Papa was cutting cheese and feeding. He was eating his cheese and you were eating cheese at the same time, weren't you? Yep. That's why I'm looking for more. Okay. Here I go, I'm gonna go over here. I put about a quarter of a cup of water in my um, meat because there's no fat. I would leave the fat in it if I was using like uh, 85, 15 or something like that. I'm just going to let this marry for just a minute. I'm going <laughs> to... I'm gonna treat anybody who wants to eat my food to some organic organs, right? So I'm putting some pluck in here. Nobody's gonna be able to taste it. But the people that eat my food get it cooked my way. Yes, indeed. Well, everybody they brings the food they like because everybody yeah, eats do. And then different. everybody grabs. Yeah. Everybody always eats my food. Yeah. I don't know about this. There's gonna be, I mean, there's gonna be so much food. I'm probably going to have some leftovers, but that's fine too. I love leftovers. You know, I'm just going to turn that off. Leftovers are wonderful. Leftover lasagna. Leftover enchiladas. I love leftover, like it tastes better the next day, right? Potato salad or faux potato salad tastes good the next day. Um, you know, uh, uh, coleslaw, things like that taste better the next day. Okay, so I have got that and it's done. See how delicious looking that is? Mmm, smells heavenly. Now, I like putting on just a little bit of my La Victoria hot sauce. Yes, I'm making this for everybody, but I'm also making it for Harry and I, right? So I'm just putting a little bit in there. Well, I don't know anybody over there doesn't like hot food anyway. Oh, well, yeah, everybody does. So now I've got my big cake pan that I have sprayed because we're making 12 enchiladas. 12 enchiladas. Okay, and I am taking my hatch chili sauce right here and I'm just gonna put some along the bottom. Want some in the bottom. Nothing's worse than having a dry enchilada. I hate it when you go to a restaurant and they've got this little teeny bit of sauce on the on the outside and you know. Yeah. I need to get a separate spoon because I need to taste my beef to make sure. But I have to say it's beef for the folks that uh, would freak out if it was bison. People are weird. Wow, that's perfect. Wow, that is awesome. Mom, can I have a bite? No, honey, it's too spicy for your little tummy, Sal. 
We'll have a plate for you though, with cheese and, and good puppy stuff. Is that okay with you? Sure. Okay. My stove is electric, so it keeps cooking. You bring all that stuff to the game? Yeah, I am, and you get to go too, huh? Yep. You're all excited? You gonna bring me some? I'll bring you some chicken. How's that sound? All right. Now, what I do is... Uh-oh. Got my gloves on. So what I'm gonna do is come on over here, Harry, because you're gonna have to get close because it gets messy. I'm gonna put my beef across my enchilada and my beef. Put a little bit of cheese. Put a little half sauce. Mm -mm 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 -mm. And roll it up. And I do this six across or five and two in the middle, right? Kind of got to get to know your pan. Now you can make enchiladas with any ground meat. You can make it with, um, you know, chicken. You can use red sauce. You can use green sauce. You can make a crema white sauce. You can make it your way, but we just like to make it plain, simple, easy, easy beef. If I had leftover chicken, you know, it's what do you have in your cabinet? Now, if you can eat, which I do not recommend, they have carb-wise, if you're low carb, and you are not allergic to any of the fibers, like the wheat fiber, the oat fiber, the rice fiber, the, all the things they use it, and you don't mind eating those, then you can get those. But I like just using the Egg Life wraps because, and they have Southwestern. Sprouts did not have Southwestern. Sprouts usually carries them, they didn't have them. So I just got the plain, which is fine, because to me, they taste like tortillas. I haven't had a tortilla in psh, yeah, I know, forever. Right? So uh, they're to me, they're a vessel to hold my food, just like, you know, bread is anyway. So I'm not too upset with uh, the fact that they were out. So I just do the same assembly line with this. When I run out of sauce for the bottom, like that, I'll just put a little bit more in here. And just keep on going. So you guys come back when I'm done making and getting my enchiladas all made. How's that sound? Okay, you guys. I'm done with the meat, I have no room, so Harry gets a little enchilada. Uh, we're gonna microwave it, because he's hungry. He wants to eat. So I said, okay. Especially one of those. Yeah, so I've got that to the side, so that's gonna be, that's how easy it is. Now, I take my leftover, uh, my other, so if I had a big jar, I would use half. I take my uh, enchilada sauce, pour it, and then spread it out evenly across my enchiladas. That's another thing, you know, we put the, we wrap, we put this in a box and then wrap it with a, sell aluminum foil and then we put it in a big towel. It's this whole huge thing to keep them warm, but they, they reheat really well too, which is nice. Then I take my leftover cheese. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? Putting La Victoria on top. Do you think that's going to be too hot? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I'm going to leave it. We can put hot sauce on. That's not an issue, but some people are, have uh, very uh, light palates. Then you just take your cheese, and this is a blend of some Oaxaca we had in the refrigerator, Oaxaca. And uh, no, it's not the kind that got recalled recently, but, uh, oops, Sally just, ooh, looked, Sally she just, just scored. Oh, look what I got. Oh, <gasps> Mom, jump some more! Cheese from heaven. <laughs> Clean the floor. Watch out, Mom. I almost stepped on Okay, give me her plate. I've got a little bit of cheese right here. Hand me her little plate. Here. 
just put that down there. There. No, give it to her now. Oh, no, I'm gonna set it When you here. eat yours before we go. All right. So, basically that's it. Now you can take a little bit of uh, seasoning and this one isn't open yet. I've got another one in here somewhere. I'll use a butter knife and pop it real quick. Let me do it. No. I actually um, took. So I have got Redmond taco seasoning. I'm just gonna sprinkle the top. This adds spice too, which is nice. And the taco seasoning from uh, the taco base from Keto Chow is delicious too. Okay, you guys, I've got the heater. <laughs> the heater. I have got, yeah, Sally, you're right. There's cheese everywhere. I have got, and I just washed this whole counter, so I'm gonna be washing again. I have got, um, that goes on Sally's, my oven set to 375. So you guys, I'm taking with me, let me put this in the oven, excuse me, Sally. You want it to be bubbling and the cheese to be melted. I am taking the guacamole salsa because I had no guacamole. And I'm taking a thing of my sour cream for everybody and a thing of La Victoria hot sauce with me. So those are what we're taking with us for my condiments for my beef and cheese enchiladas for the Super Bowl game. Who are you guys rooting for? Are you rooting for the 49ers or the Chiefs? I don't care which team wins. I just want it to be exciting. I want a running, a passing game. I want it all. Anyway, you guys. See you when the enchiladas come out of the oven. Okay, are you ready for yours, Harry? Yep. Okay, let me let me put yours in the microwave. <sighs> you and Sally make out. I'm telling ya. Harry, it's time to bring out those enchiladas. That house smells yum deliumptious, doesn't it? Man. How was that little one I made you? That was so oh, that was so good. Can't wait, huh? Oh. Okay. Oh yeah, they're bubbling. You can hear them sizzling. Oh yeah, look at Put them up on top. Where are you on, right here? Yep, put them right there. So, so here, Harry, I'll let you do the honors. So you guys, easy peasy, pick it easy. Check it out, look. My enchiladas are done. I'm gonna let them cool off for about five, 10 minutes. Then Harry, come over here. Harry wraps them all up in Reynolds wrap. Yeah, then the we thing. wrap a beach towel around it. And yeah, yeah. I use white because I can bleach this. White towel around it. And then there's a box, uh, a shallow can box thing that we use and then we will be out the door but I have got to go take care of Sally get her fresh water get all her stuff done get Harry fixed he's got to get dressed and then we're going to be out the door you guys so who's going to win 49ers or the Chiefs you guys are seeing this the next day so you guys will already know so and so will we by the time we sit down and watch this. Anyway, you guys, I'm very excited about this meal. Very excited. I think anybody who has some is going to love it. Anyway, you guys, we'll see you in the next segment. Yes, indeed. Okay. Are you making some more? Yes, I am. Okay, you guys. This stuff is, oh. We've got leftover enchiladas. Harry's starving. I don't even get to undress from the gym before he no. wants his leftover enchiladas but this Erdes guacamole salsa is oh, spicy man. it it's is hot bomb. oh it didn't get eaten very well as this but man i took sour cream we took pork right there was oh the food there was pulled pork. Oh. There were there were those weenies you wrap in uh, Pillsbury croissant rolls. There were deviled eggs. There was every kind of chip was imaginable. Crazy. There was more food than there was there, people. There was so much food. There were nuts. There were there was everything, you guys. And there was a lot of alcohol flying around too. But and a lot of noise. What I did was because we took 
our pork rinds, I took this, mixed it with sour cream, and oh man, Harry and I fell in love with it. Oh yeah, man. It's a delicious. Have you guys ever made that before? This would make a great sauce for like a chicken enchilada. Oh yeah. It would. <laughs> So let me share this with everybody because I'm telling you, it is delicious. Which plate looks halfway decent? So you, I, I grabbed all the stuff from the bottom because people, you know, you get the, the, the leftovers. Mm -hmm. But it's delicious. Anyway, you guys, we are having beef and cheese enchiladas with the guacamole salsa sour cream mix on top and we are gonna go eat now oh yeah I'm gonna go put it over here Harry says I didn't make enough of the that's right you gotta sauce. make more so I am but you guys there was pulled pork sandwiches there was hot hot dogs because uh, there was hot dogs, there were sausages, there were brats. It was just craziness. Was craziness. I could have made six of these and we, we, we would have been fine right oh yeah because like everybody just kind of stood there like oh yeah the food what there, do we was, do? there was pasta salad there was potato salad there was there was food there were cakes and candies and cookies and kids and screaming and it was fun right yeah it was great it was it was fun and what a game wow yeah. Very, I mean, they overtime. Had to go into overtime and oh, that's, yeah, oh, that was that's awesome. It just really got good. It was awesome. Yeah, that was crazy good. That's what I like. See, I don't want to watch it all the time. I don't want to watch it every day or any of that. I just want to see the fun end, end game. We do that same. We used to do that with the uh, World Series, remember? Yep. So. Or if the kids were in sports, Felicia played basketball when she was in junior high school. And uh, she loved the Lakers. That was her team. Mm -hmm. So, anyway, you guys, it's just as easy as that. Let me make sure. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I think it needs a, a little bit more. And this is just for Harry and I. Don't worry, I did not use my fingers when we were there. Well, everybody else was towards the end was kind of grazing the food. Oh yeah, everybody kind of like it pulled chairs up to where the food crazy. was when the, it was over with. And on the big countertop oh and just God. had at it. I think Sally grazed the floor. I think she probably, she didn't feel good yesterday. Uh -uh. I think she had too much of everything. I'm sure the kids threw stuff on the floor for her too. Anyway, you guys, come on over. Let's, let's eat, shall we? Come on. Well, you wanted it, I got it. This, this will work though. Any leftovers? We can have four. Poor crimes. Ah, oh, you guys. Man. These are really good enchiladas. They really are. And they're going to be even better today because oh, yeah. oh, they've sat in the refrigerator day. all night long. And I took all the, the bottom goo stuff and poured it on top and then nuked them. Mmm. Mmm. Wow, wow, wow. Mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. Mm -mm. that, mm -mm -mm. that green stuff is so good on there. Oh, her dogs, or whatever it was called. Guacamole salsa. Yeah. Dip. Mm -hmm. I'm calling it a dip or a topping because it's got half sour cream. That stuff is delicious. It's so good. That stuff is so I good. I think I should use that for a sauce. Oh, man. Stuff right. is crazy. It's hot. What do you mean? We, well, I mean, you know, not, you and I like it spicy. Oh, hot is in spicy. Yes, mm -hmm. I agree. But it's delicious. Oh, yeah. Man, it's good. Okay, go ahead and take taste test. Ooh. Oh, you're gonna use a fork? Kind of yeah. saucy. That's why I gave the spoons. Mmm. Mmm. -mm. We were quite happy piling our, our plate high with, uh, you had a pulsa, you had some pork, pulled pork. They didn't, 
they didn't cook it with barbecue sauce on it. It was really good. So and then we had enchiladas, we had pork nutty. rinds, we had deviled eggs, we had charcuterie, which you had a bazillion pieces of the meat, mm. salami and all that good stuff, and cheeses. And yeah, we were stuffed to the gills yesterday. We really were, so. Um, oh, that was so good. <laughs> it was. Anyway, you guys, we're back on track. No more Super Bowl. Right, Harry? It's, right. it's over now. Got to eat now. Until next year. I like La Victoria on my, my enchiladas, too. Certain things you have from oh, childhood yeah, gotta have, you know. that you got to have. The got to haves. You know? Anyway, you guys, we're going to enjoy this and we'll come back. But got to eat now. Oh, yeah. Mm-mm-mm. Mm -mm. Harry, mm -hmm. how was your lunch, mm. dinner, breakfast meal today? Oh, God, I can hardly talk. I ate too much. It was so good, you guys. Oh. It was so good, but you know what? Somebody must have used a metal utensil on my pan because my pan on the side has the whole coating ripped off, doesn't it, Harry, uh -huh. inside, so he threw it away. So I've got to order a new one. You know, even if you bring your own utensils, I'm not saying that the male sex or, you know, men that are drinking beer and watching football don't care, but I think that's what happened anyway. I'm just, I'm just saying, no, I don't come after me, I'm just saying. Anyway, tomorrow is a protein sparing modified fast day. You better day. watch because half those people watch your show. I know, well, I didn't say who. Wednesday, protein sparing modified fast day. Make protein your priority. Eat and track 20 grams or less of fat, 10 grams or less of carbs, and eat six to 700 calories total, you guys. Make sure of that. And Harry's gonna try to upload. We went to uh, Finney's for steak. Um, sat what day is today? See, I'm all, today's Monday. Saturday and um, so I'm not sure. Come here, little girl. Yes, we know. Yes, you already had your cheese. You want to say good night to everybody? Good night. What's the matter? I want more food. No, you can't. Look at this little belly. I ordered you. You know, I had to measure you today for some beautiful clothing that you're wearing in the wintertime because you're refusing to go outside in the cold. She's refusing to She's go a cube. In the cold. She she wants something on her. Yeah, she's getting a little bit. Look at this. She needs to be on a little bit. Of course, I just gave her cheese. I know, you guys. I know. You guys are balling me out now. I can hear it. I can feel it. I can feel it. It's my fault because puppies can't get their own food. That's right. Yeah, but I love you. You love me? Yes, Mama, I love you so much. Okay, well, let's tell everybody. Please remember to like, Guys, wait, subscribe, ring, ring that little bell, down. give us a thumbs up. Now it's your turn. And say good night, everybody. <coughs> yes. <coughs> Mommy's got to get out of her gym clothes and go take a shower. Yeah, and yes, yes, yes. Yes, please. You want chicken? Oh, yes, I love chicken. There you go. Oh, chicken. That's it. You had cheese already. Good night, everybody.